Hello everyone and welcome back. Based on the lessons you were taught in the previous tutorials, in this video we want to create a woolen star with using roughen effect. Beside this effect we utilize ellipse tool, gradient, blend tool, pass tool and direct selection tool. Let's jump into the illustrator. If you are interested in this video, please subscribe to my channel for reaching to the previous lectures and click on the bell button so whenever I publish a new video, you are the first one who can watch it. Okay, at the first step, we should create two ellipses. From here, I select the ellipse, create one of them, hold the Alt key and create another one. Select this one, disable the stroke, and go to the gradient panel. If you don't have the gradient panel here, you should go to menu bar, select window tab, and from here, check the gradients. Here you are. Okay, I select this circle. In the gradient panel, I want to activate the gradients. Okay. I select an angle, 19 degree, and reverse it. And now I add my gradients. I just want to randomly select a color, for example, this one, and this one, make it darker. Okay, and a second one. Again, disable the stroke, activate the gradients, and again rotate it 90 degree. Here you are. You can customize your color. For example, I want to make it brighter. Here you are. Or this one. This is based on your opinion. You can choose randomly your colors. Okay, the next step is using the blend tool for creating a blend with two ellipses. I select both of them and from the object tab in the menu bar, I go to blend and select the blend option. In this window, I select the second one specified steps and put it to 215 or 300 or 400 for example, I put it to 300 and select this orientation and press OK. After customizing the options of the blend tool, again go to Object, Blend and make Blend. Or with the hotkey Command, Alt and B. You can create your blend. Very easy. Now I have a blend here. I put it to this place make it smaller and now I want to create a star for adding this gradient, this blend to my shape. This is the star. I select it and create it. Put it here. Okay, now I enable the stroke and disable the color. This is my star. Okay, the next step is that I want to add this blend into my shape. As I told you in the previous videos, I select my blend and select my star, go to object, blend and select the replace spine. By pressing this button, you replace your blend into your shape or into your pass. I replace it and now I have my blend into my shape. But here, I can add an anchor into this path for continuing my blend. I select the pen tool and for example, in here I add an anchor and with the direct selection tool, I select the anchor and put it here. Very good. Okay, now I have a star with a blend. Now the next step is add hairs into my blend. Okay, I select my star, go to effect, distort and transform, 
and add the roughen. In the roughen window, I select the points. In the points window, I select the smooth and relative. I increase the amount of the detail and increase the size. Twenty two is okay, I think. Here you are. I add hairs into my shape. Very easy and very amazing. If I zoom in, you can see the hairs and you can see the details. I provide it by just clicking on the roughen effect. I use the roughen effect for create these hairy paths. You can add this effect into every shape you want. For example, you can create a heart and add this hairy path into it by following this tutorial. I want to tell you last point that is very very significant for you if you want to add this hairy path into your text. As you see, I created this shape and that was a path for you in the illustrator. But if I select the type tool and write for example D, increase the size and for example choose Montra tin. Again I active the stroke and deactive the fill color. If I select it, you can see here this is a type. But if I select this one, you can see this is a blend. And if I create another star, this is a pass. Blend tool and roughen, all of them work with the pass, not with a type. For converting the type to the pass, you can follow these steps. The first one is that go to object and press expand. It's been object and fill and press OK. Now this is a group. OK. I right click and ungroup it. Now this is a compound pass. OK. Again, I press right click and select release compound pass. And now this is a pass. I don't need the inner pass. I delete it. I need this one. And now this is a pass. Okay, again, I create two ellipses. Add this gradient. Select both of them. Disable the stroke. And go to object, blend, make a blend or press command, alt and B. That's it. And now select both of them. Go to object, blend and replace spine. Again, we don't have my blend into this path. Select my path. Select the pencil. Add an anchor. And move the anchor to here. Now I select my shape. Go to effect and press roughen, smooth, increase the detail and increase the size. Here you are, very easy. That was a tutorial of creating this hairy pass into your type. Okay everybody, that is enough for this video. I will see you in the next lecture.